This is the women's 3,000 metres steeplechase. And you're looking at the favourite right there. Emma Coburn, 2017 world champion. Backed it up with a podium performance in the 2019 world championships. She wants to go back to another Olympics. And she is the favourite in this event. And she has the love and the power and the passion of her family supporting her. There we see Emma's family. Emma's family is her superpower. Her father, Bill, times her workouts. Her mother, Annie, cooks her meals. We see her sister, Gracie Willett, who is her absolute best friend. Her husband coaches her. Emma relies on her family. They make her feel calm. They make her feel loved, make her feel like it's just running. And they are always there for her. The American record holder in this event happens to be Courtney Freericks. Courtney, the World Championships followed Emma home back in 2017. She's Frick. feeling pretty good about things at the moment too. You know, Ferricks took a fall in that prelim and she handled it so well. We saw why she's the world silver medalist from 2017. She handled it super well. She got back in and she got the job done. She's seen four of her Bowerman teammates qualify for the Olympic Games and she's ready for her turn now. 25-year-old from Salt Lake City, Utah. This is Grayson Murphy. Murphy is having an incredible season. She's raced five times and set personal bets every single time that she has run. There are three spots, three opportunities to represent Team USA in Tokyo at the conclusion of this 3,000-meter steeplechase. Now look at Courtney Freerix in the red and white. She gets out very quickly. Conversely, Emma Coburn is second to last. Now, Emma said, after watching the heat of this event where she saw Courtney Ferrix go down, that forced her. She made a kind of a, 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 a quick decision to say, right, I'm going to go to the front. I don't want to get caught up in all of that. I don't want to get tagged or tripped. However, this time we see Emma right at the back. We see her at the back here. She's so confident that she knows what she needs to do to get through. Of course, as spectators, this is a little nerve-wracking as she's jumping over this first barrier blind. But she gets through it no problem. I expect we'll see her working her way up. But we see at the front Courtney Ferrix and Leah Fallon, who ran such a great prelim. And she really was right on Coburn the entire time in that prelim, running one of the best times she's run in years to get through to this final right now. All in blue on the far left there. That is Mahala Norris. She, collegiate star. She just started running the steeplechase this year, and she was the NCAA steeplechase champion. She stands 4 feet 11 inches tall, and she has so much power to get over those barriers and to jump out on the water pit. You know, one of the things that sets Frerichs and Coburn apart is their incredibly good form over the barriers. And we will have to look the next time they go over the water jump just how far they jump out of the pit. They don't land, you know, in the deep end. They, they land so far out their feet barely get wet. And they both have incredible and impeccable form over the barriers. The Olympic standard, you must be in the top three or, and also have the Olympic standard. And that Olympic standard is 9 minutes 30 even. Now, as you see Emma Coburn there, black top, red bottoms. She now is mid-pack after starting right at the back, very carefully being the architect of a clever race here. You know, so do you see, because we always talk about that, that very difficult and elusive nine-minute mark, do you see the Ferrix or Emma Coburn going for that? What, 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 what is your feeling about this? I think right now they both are wanting to qualify for the Olympic team. They don't want to make any mistakes. They don't want to do anything that might jeopardize that. We'll have to see later in the race if that becomes a reality. At this point, I think they're just trying to run clean races and get through. Now watch Frerix as she comes over this water barrier right now. See how far she lands out, and she just is so strong on her landing. There's no bobble in her body. She's immediately going forward to her next stride, and that's really what sets her and Coburn apart is their incredible water jumps and their incredible hurdling technique. Leah Fallon running well. There is Emma Coburn. Nicely placed within the top half dozen or so. Wilson continues to lead. You won't miss a thing. We'll go non-stop. We'll come back and finish it off and see who's going to Tokyo.
duffel bag slow. You would never see that. Use the trap toe. On car insurance. The Open Championship has stood the test of time. Once again, Americans will begin their day watching the Open and the best in the world. The Open Championship on NBC and Golf. Logan Martin takes the title! What power! Fly, Megan! Outstanding, Your Majesty! American Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC. Inside the final four laps here at Haywood Field, and the American record holder in this event, Courtney Freerix of the Bowman Track Club, leads the way, and she leads the way over Marissa Howard. Now, Marissa was the last athlete to qualify for this final on time. And here she is running up inside the top four. Emma Coburn, now second. Watch over the, the water jump. See how all the momentum, the momentum just keeps going through there. Now, Emma has worked her way up. We're used to seeing her go in front and sort of set the pace for everyone. I have to think that at this point, she's working on her tactics. She's thinking down the road. She's thinking, I need to be able to kick. I need to be able to close that last kilometer like the best in the world. And she's moved herself into second place right now, but she seems content to sit there and let Brericks do the work, just be comfortable behind her and ride that train. She doesn't normally get that opportunity on U.S. soil. And we see, see Fallon is saying, this is real. If Brericks is going and Coburn's going with it, I have to get on the back of them if I have a shot at making this Olympic team. And the pace has quickened substantially. They just ran a 70-second lap down from a 76. So this is where the race begins. This is where things are going to start getting exciting. The pace is going to keep cranking, and we'll see who's able to withstand that. Leah Fallon on your left there competed in the 2016 trials. She has a look up at the board to see who is where. And she finished a distant 14th five years ago. She is in the mix right now. She has worked so hard overcoming just obstacle after obstacle to give herself a chance to make an Olympic team. And this is interesting. We see Courtney Ferricks kind of looking around. She's looking up at the screen. She's like, who's still with me? And Emma is just sitting. She's just waiting, just stalking Courtney. And she's just waiting for the time where she feels it's right to make a move. But Leah Fallon, is, she is on that pack. She is not going to let them go. She knows these are the women I have to run with if I'm going to make an Olympic team. And with two laps to go, there's a clear breakaway Within the top three in the race, Leah Fallon goes down. Marissa Howard picks up that third spot. Let's see if Fallon can regroup. Fallon has to be calm right now. She is in such great shape. She is definitely one of the favorites to make this team. She needs to keep her composure, not get upset, take the emotion out of it, and just focus on working her way back up to the top two. She was able to get up quickly and rebound. And from right at the back of the pack on lap one, with less than a lap and a half to go, Emma Coburn takes the lead of this race. This is what Emma Coburn has been working for. This is why she's been doing longer mileage and stretching out her long runs. Look at how quick she is out of the water pit. This is what she's been training for. She knows she needs, with a lap to go in Tokyo, to have a huge finish if she wants to be on that podium. And this is what she's been training for in the last few years. She and her coach and husband, Joe Bossard, have increased the long runs. They've done longer mile repeats. They've added repeats to everything they do for this moment right now to be able to stretch it out and turn on the gears when it matters most. Lives her life at high altitude. So when she comes to sea level, look out. And away goes Emma Coburn with one lap to go. The race is on for third. Leah Fallon is in fourth at the moment. She's in a pretty fierce fight. Val Constein is there. Marissa Howard, it's going to be gripping for that third and final spot. There's Fallon. She's fighting Val. Val Constein is in such good shape. She has her sights set on this team as well. That is going to be an epic battle for, battle for that third spot. But we look ahead and we see Coburn. She is just turning it on now. You know, again, she always looks so calm in the face. She almost looks bored. But you can see by her body language, she is really turning it on. And she pops out of that water pit for the last time. And now all she has is the final stretch here. The run to home. Emma Coburn, Courtney Freerix. It's Emma's race.
the nine minute mark it's going to come and go but that doesn't matter emma coburn is on her way to tokyo to represent team usa in another olympics and so too is courtney ferrix emma coburn wins the women's 3000 steeplechase courtney ferrix second and it's going to be val constein emma coburn wins the women's 3000 steeplechase Courtney Ferrick second, and it's going to be Val Constein who gets that third spot. Spare a thought for Leah Fallon, who fell with just a couple of laps to go. And all three have, of course, the Olympic standard qualifying time already achieved. They're going to Tokyo. Emma Coburn ran such a brilliant race. She's working on her tactics. She shatters. The trials record with that run, she just destroys it. And what a heartbreaking run for Leah Fallon. She looks so determined. She's worked so hard to be here. But now we see Emma being embraced by her best friend, Emma Vosberg, her sister, Gracie Willa, and her mom, Annie. That's her dad, Bill. This is her team. She lives with them. They give her so much strength and comfort on a day-to-day -day basis. They make a complete team. Spare a thought for Leah Fallon. She was in the top three until this moment with two laps to go that is so heartbreaking for fallon she has worked so hard and she's been open with how hard it's been to work her way back after such a devastating injuries and surgeries and problems but we see cobra and she's looking up at the screen here she knows and this is her in full flight just striding out this is why she just set, set the record the pace wasn't on trials record pace at the beginning but she just ratcheted it down in that last k and emma coburn has a word with leah fallon there coburn smashed her own trials record by almost eight seconds 909 41 that's the new trials record